Hi, my name is Raquel and I'm happiest on set or in the seat of a theater and I loved Creed 3 so I made some nails. The design explanation is that I got the colorway from the poster along with the three red lines at the tip of the thumbnail. The crisscrossing lines and the lines on the other fingers represent, you know, the ropes and the boxing ring and the diamond shape also pays homage to Diamond Dame. And the red dots represent blood because as you can imagine there's a whole lot of that in this movie. Golly! Whew, here's what you'll need. And here are the steps. Go ahead and take a screenshot now so you have a follow along reference. I'll only be showing the accent nail portion, which is the thumb, because the other fingers are pretty self-explanatory. Creed Three is a spectacular, larger than life, gargantuan, perfect for IMAX movie that had me hooked for its entire runtime. Let's start with the fights because I mean, <laughs> that is why we are all here. Tell me why I was safe safe and sound, wrapped up snugly in my movie theater blanket. But during the fight scenes, I was bobbing and weaving and jumping like I was in the ring. Yo, the sound design and the cinematography in these sequences just suck you in and do not let you go. You can't help but flinch. You can't help but duck down when you see a punch coming and the use of slow-mo just makes those punches hit even harder. There's one sequence that reminds me a lot of a, a Mortal Kombat kill and it is brutal and exquisite. The choice to film this movie with an IMAX camera, I mean, yes, I... Very rarely do I watch an IMAX movie and I'm like, yes, this is necessary. It needed to be this big. But for this story, for Creed 3, it needed to be this big. So please see it on the largest screen you can if, you know, physically possible. I have the AMC A-list, so I will be seeing it again on IMAX. Also, shout out AMC A-list. For under $25 a month, you can watch three movies a week and it includes like Dolby and IMAX, and I'm not even sponsored. I just absolutely love the AMC A-list because, yo, I'm probably one of the reasons Movie Pass went down because I went to the movie so often. Anyway, hey, you know what? If they need a sponsor, hit a girl up. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors, now knowing what a powerhouse actor he is, I knew that he would absolutely nail the underdog with a chip on his shoulder and war path ahead of him role well, exceptionally well. But I didn't expect him to be the comedic relief of this movie too. He is so funny in this. I mean, his facial expressions, his reactions, his timing. If I was laughing during this movie, nine times out of 10, it was because of him. I mean, his emotional performance is so crisp and nuanced, but he really tops it off. He really puts a cherry on top with his facial expressions and comedic timing. I was like, God, this man's a genius. <laughs> he could just tell whole stories with his eyes or just the way he looks at a certain direction, a certain body part in the fight. He was my favorite performance in this movie by far. Wow, 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 wow. Of course, the little baby girl that uh, Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson have is, she's so cute. She was also another really great comedic performance in this movie. She is such a little sweetheart. She is so cute. And when she signs, it's, oh, I just love seeing that in the theaters it's it's so necessary i love seeing asl in tv in theaters Mwah. she was so freaking cute also another great thing was seeing black opulence in the theater because their house honey oh my god their house is nuts and it's just it's refreshing to see it not treated as like oh wow look look where we are but it's like nah this is just my kitchen whatever yeah, when the doorbell rings, lights flash, like, we got help in here. You know what I mean? It, black opulence, you love to see it. My only notes are, there were a couple of sequences 
that because of their really quick cutting and the loud music that played during these sequences, they did feel a little bit like a music video. Um, and those at certain points kind of took me out of it where I was like, okay, this seems a little, a little gratuitous. Um, but you know, it's not like Michael B. Jordan has directed a hell of a lot of things. So yeah, that's fine. Also, I did think that Michael B. Jordan's performance in maybe the first two thirds of this movie was a bit muted and certainly not as deep as Jonathan Major's portrayal of his character. And you know, I, I've seen him, it's not my favorite Michael B. Jordan performance. I've seen him go deeper, I've seen him do more. But also he was tackling the lead role along with directing. So I have, I have hella grace for him. Still a great performance. Um, Cause in the, in the third act, he really ramped it up, but I just wish he had that consistency and power throughout the movie. Yo, the little boy that they found to play Baby Adonis. <laughs> Yo, that boy's face shape and the way he holds his mouth, absolutely exactly, exactly like Michael B. Jordan. That was a great, great casting choice because that little boy really did look like him. Also, the way the movie was, how the story was told, was told in an interesting, kind of like flashing back and forth manner that I thought really worked well and kept you at the edge of your seat. You weren't bored watching this movie because each piece left you with a cliffhanger and then left you wanting more. And then when it came back around later, you're like, oh, snap, that's from then. And ooh, it was really, really well mapped and well paced. The runtime I believe was around, hmm, I think it was like hour, hour and 50 something. So just under two hours, but between the fight scenes and the pacing of the day-to-day -day scenes, you do not notice it flies by. I saw this movie after work at a crisp 10 p.m. in Burbank and I was awake and engaged for the entire movie. It was really, really something. I I can't wait to see it again. It's one of those movies that, oh, you wanna show somebody because now that you know when the when certain punches are coming, you're just like, oh, just wait. You haven't even seen a thing. Oh my God, I can't wait to show some friends this movie. So please, 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 please patronize the F out of this film, go see it. It is a thrill ride. It is wonderful. Great performances across the board. Great story. And man, them fight scenes. All right, be well. <laughs> bring, bring some like, get a massage after because you gonna, you gonna be stressed. Them fight scenes gonna have you stressed. Let me assure you. Oh gosh. <laughs>